The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's say you as a parent observe this behavior. What is the best course of action? Because obviously there are, there are different levels of concern. There's right. the level of concern, oh my gosh, my child, I think today is going to go do something bad. Right. The, get authorities, get, get all hands on deck in that situation. But if you're just like, I'm not sure, but I'm a little bit worried, what, what, yeah. what does a parent do in that circumstance? Don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid to say, you know, have you ever, or have your friends ever had thoughts about hurting someone else, hurting yourself? Is there any self-harm going on? If a kid looks at you like you have a third head, right? Like, you know you're probably okay. If a kid looks at you kind of like, do you, are you reading my thoughts? Now we need to have a conversation. And that brings up what a mandated reporter is. Parents are not mandated reporters. We are not required to turn our children in. A priest is a mandated reporter, a school official is a mandated reporter, an ER doc is a mandated reporter, and a police officer is. Right. If I have to choose, I'm going to you every day because I can't get into Dr. G. Like I can't get into a psychologist on the same day. And, and you right. hit the nail on the head. You cannot, in the emergency department, turn someone away if right. they have an emergent medical condition, and in this case, um, that includes psychiatric evaluation. Yeah. It's a heartbreaking thing for a parent to have to do, right. but if you're that concerned, that is the way to go, yeah. because you may save your kid's life, you may save other kids' lives, and quite honestly, you may yeah. end up saving your own life in the broader sense of that word, yeah, and I would add that there's actually a few more things that we want to watch for too as parents that if they become really isolative and they're starting to talk about things like Judgment Day, giving their belongings away, talking about what would you feel if I wasn't here anymore, you do have to take those signs literally. Those are red flags. I mean, there's definite red flags. Yeah. And as a parent, of course, you don't want to go to law enforcement first, but have the conversation with them, but don't dance around it. Sometimes I see parents say, well, you're not going to do anything stupid, are you? that's not a good way to talk about it because that's all different kinds of inter interpretations plus there's judgment on top of it. So you really want to make sure just to ask the question point blank and then follow through. You know, do you want us to go to a therapist? If they're really refusing care, take them to the emergency room. And sometimes the last resort is to tell law enforcement and, and, like this parent did. Well, Dr. Lisa, I applaud you again for all the work you're doing and... Quite honestly, sometimes I don't know how you keep a smile on your face because these issues are so very complex. Certainly for more information on warning signs, as well as what to do if you do see them, visit thedoctorstv.com. We'll